Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an image slideshow that's simple to do but looks better than just like a simple image sequence. So yeah, I hope you like it. First, you need to add an image sequence. Uh, so you have to go to the folder where your images are. So in my case it's this one. And then it says I have pictures here. Um, so you can change a lot of stuff here. I just think five seconds is too long, so I'll put it at three seconds. And I don't want any of these other things. But if you do decide to change your mind, you can go in clip properties and change it anyway. So my images, I'm going to show you quickly. Uh, we have seven, I think, and they have different dim dimensions. And I thought I'd try to figure out something that worked with different sizes. Because I think, yeah, like you always have multiple sizes of pictures. OK, cool. So this is going to be actually my top track. I'm going to need three tracks for this. Uh, we're going to have the main image, then we're going to have a frame, and then we're going to have a background. Very simple. Um, and all of them are going to be the same image sequence. So you can actually like just put it in, you can put it in every track. So we're going to start with the top one because that's the one we're going to see, and I'm going to hide the bottom ones just so that I can see what I'm doing. And all I want here is to make it smaller. So I'm going to go maybe like 80% and keep it centered. And well, for this one, it's very small. For these ones, it's better, you know. So like, you don't really have a good solution because we're making a video in landscape and some of the pictures are in portraits, but well. So the first one is done. Then we're going to have a frame. So this one is going to be pretty much um, the same size, but just a little bit bigger. So if the first one was 80%, this one maybe 85? Let's see. Um, okay, so we can't really see the difference right now, so I'm gonna add the other effects and then we'll decide. We're gonna change the brightness. So this will make it all white or all black, as you want. In my case, I want it all white. And then if I want other colors, I can just add a colorize effect. And when you First put it on, nothing happens, but then if you change the lightness to be less light, you'll have a color. And so you can do whatever color you want. Um, I guess it depends, like, if you have a theme kind of in your images, it can be nice. Uh, in my case here, I have images from very different places, so like, they don't have the same colors at all, but it still works. Yeah, I like the blue, I think that's nice. Maybe a bit too saturated, so I'll go a bit lower here. And then the background is just going to be the same thing, but bigger and blurred. So we're going to add a transform again, transform effect again. And this one is going to be to make it, if we can see what we're doing, uh, just a bit bigger. So like it's a bit different. Uh, so for this one, that would work. But then if you go to one that's portrait, we have a clear problem. So actually, we're going to go even bigger, maybe like 200 or something. And then we're going to add fill borders, which will allow us to like hide the black, kind of. And so you're going to go left and right and go further. And you want mirror. So that's a bit too much. Something like this, same on the other side. And do make sure that it works for all of the pictures. It should, but yeah. And then I'm going to add some blur, because right now it just looks weird with the mirrors and stuff. So I'm going to add some blur. I think Gaussian blur is good for this. Just make it, OK, that's way too much. Yeah, I think that's good. Like, you just have the colors in the back that reminds you of the picture. And actually, I'm also add, gonna add some Bezier curves just to like make it a little brighter so that the picture like shows up more. So that's pretty cool already, but like if you look at it as a video, it's very static, 
which I think is a little boring. So in order to change that, I'm going to add some composite and transform and make both upper tracks move. Composite and transform. And same for this one. So this one I'm not going to change. It's already good. And this one will have zoom in and zoom out. In our case, uh, I put three seconds as the um, length for each picture. So at three seconds, it changes. So every three ticks, I'm going to add uh, a change in size. And so I'm going to go a bit lower first, like 90. And then like I'm going to go here, make sure it's right on 6, and do like 100, and so on and so forth. And, uh, is that the expression? Something like that. Do -do -do. So the one thing that's not great, but like you can't really change it easily, is when it's not a square, the frame is not like the same size here and here. But I feel like it's not that bad. Like it doesn't look awful. So I say good enough. Yeah. <laughs> and so in the end, you have something like this. So yeah, that's like pretty fast. It took me like five minutes and I like I was trying to explain at the same time. And like here there's seven pictures, but if you do like 100 pictures, it's the exact same time. Like it's not going to take any longer. Well, yes, there is the issue of um, the zoom in and out. And if you want, what you can do is imagine you have more pictures. I'm just going to add that here. You can just copy and paste the composite and transform. Um, make sure that this part is at the same uh, zoom as this one. And in this case, it works. It's 100 for both. So yeah, I hope you like it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, everything. And more coming soon. Bye-bye.